what's up goodies welcome back to your girl channel and to my kitchen how to cook and honey today i'm about to show you how i made this brown stew fish in my kitchen fast easy and simple so if you have not subscribed make sure you do that and turn on your post notifications so you will always be reminded whenever i'm uploading a brand new video you ready for cook let's cook Okay, good is so let me show you what kind of fish I use on it. Now the fish that of choice here is cheap and affordable and always on an extreme friendly budget. This is the one that I'm using here. This is croca croca some kind of fish like that, right? Now I have five here and I did have them do with eggs off. I believe I only pay like ten dollars for them five fish there. Yeah. And so they already scaled them and all of that, but I did rescale them and I did put slits in the fish, right? Put six in so that way that the season could go in through it. Now, the only thing that I'm going to do, right? Now, first, everybody can ask me if I can use any other fish. Yes, you could use any other fish of your choice. I just wanted to go cheap and affordable today. You can use snapper and any other fish. You don't have to use... A specific kind of fish right any fish will do for this recipe brown stew fish call for any kind of fish okay fish or fish now you want to make sure say, you wipe them off though with um, a nice clean paper towel like I just did or any kind of towel right now I'm going to keep this very 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 mellow the only thing I'm going to put on here is salt and pepper and fish seasoning that's it salt and pepper and the fish seasonings now these are some of the seasons that i'm going to also add to it i'm going to use the combo seasoning um onion powder well again garlic powder and we're definitely going to use the fish seasoning so that's what i'm going to use to get it started now this is totally optional but i'm going to add some of that to it you don't have to use it if you don't want to and i'm going to add some ginger powder to it as well if you have fresh ginger use that all right the garlic for sure some pimento seeds right here Ocherius brand that and I have some scotch bonnet here and believe me guys these are fresh from my garden husband plant up pepper this year so I'm going to use that and then I'm going to add some paprika and some vinegar because you know home girl not cook without vinegar right what vinegar do for you it cleans your body from the inside out and it make you look young forever right that's why i'm cook with vinegar all these years okay now i'm going to be eating dumpling and banana and green and ripe plantain so i already have my flour already made up here two cups of flour half teaspoon of salt that's it and then i have a really large ripe plant in here and then three bananas three green bananas so that's all i'm going to do and honey, I'm not going to be peeling no bananas today. I'm going to drop my banana in the pot. Cut them off yes, so and go through. Easy, easy, because I'm not about to stay forever in here. If you want to go ahead and peel your banana from the ground up, go ahead and do that. But honey, good enough to do that today, okay? Now, this is my pot that I'm going to be using for my fish. And this is my water from a dumpling banana and planting, right? So... I think that's about it i'll show you the other ingredients that i'm going to add to finish up the fish right and so yeah fast fast okay y'all so now i'm gonna have my banana i'm gonna dump it into the pot i'm just gonna go ahead and just cut the plant them right here so right on top because and i didn't cut the skin all the way through so that way when it cooks it will stay right there and not fall to the bottom of the pot and overcook so also i did put a little bit of the evo inside of the oil with just a tad bit of salt not a lot and so i'm going to allow that to cook until it's nice and tender until the banana is nice and tender all right and i'm thinking it probably take about 40 minutes of cooking time all right so that's about it for that so i'm going to cover that up and allow that to cook now over here is the oil and i think i have about three and a fourth cup of oil in that pot and you just want to make sure that the fire is probably at a medium heat. I mean, a medium heat right there, so, right? Now, while that is eating up, let's talk about our fish. Now, as far as the fish is concerned, all I did here was add 
some salt and pepper just a tad bit of salt because this sees this fish tea not fish tea what am i talking about this this um fish seasoning does have salt in it y'all it is tasty on your food but it does have salt in it so you want to go nice and easy when you use a grace caribbean traditional fish seasoning okay be very careful because it does have a lot of salt in it so i didn't put too much of that but i did put some black pepper on it okay and that's, so that's all i did now in here i have about i say a cup of uh, all-purpose flour and to that all-purpose flour i'm just gonna add just a little bit of um onion powder and then i'm gonna add a little tat also of the garlic powder all right i'll say probably about a half teaspoon we don't need a whole lot in that thing all right and so that's all i'm going to do to season that up i'm just going to combine everything together just like that okay now I put nothing else in it. Nothing else in the flour, y'all. That's it. Nice, nice. Right? Then to that flour, we're going to go ahead and put our fish in. And all it is doing here is just I'm um, going to baste the fish so it holds nice. And not only that, it's going to give the gravy a nice little dense thickening. All right? Going to thicken up the gravy nice and mellow. Nice and mellow. And so that's that's all you need to do here and then you just place your fish in the oil just like so okay that's all you do all right very simple just go ahead and just put your fish into the flour you don't have to press the flour in because you're not doing fried chicken here all right and just shake off the excess flour all right and then just place the fish and oil like that we're gonna hold that can hold probably three so we just go ahead and just add another one in now y'all if you're still here watching your girl cooking right be sure that you subscribe to the channel and all because it just is, well not only that you subscribe but that you also have your notification on fleek all right have a notification on fleek and you'll know whenever I upload brand new videos now those fish I'm going to add later. All right, so now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do next. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do to give that fish flavor, right? I'm gonna add some scallions to it. And I'm also gonna add a pepper, right? And so, and I'm going to add just a little piece of ginger. Just make it fry with the ginger. Just like that, it's going to give it a lot of flavor on that fish. So, I'm going to go ahead and let it fry. I'd say it's going to fry for about uh, six to seven minutes on one side and then flip it on the other side and let it do the same thing. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other batch. And so, when I come back, I'm going to show you the steps that I'm going to do to complete this delicious recipe. All right, good. So, I'm going to the back. I'm not going to wait now. Come back. I'm not done yet. All right, goody. So my fish are fried up nice and golden brown. All right. Now these are the things that I'm going to put on this fish, right? To finish it up. Now I have my scotch bonnet pepper under this store, totally optional, but I have to show off because the husband cultivate the pepper there. Now I'm going to add some onions and tomatoes and bell pepper. I choose yellow, but you could substitute that out for whatever that you have. And some scallion and thyme, of course, because thyme is essential to everything in our life. And with the scallion already, I'm going to add some pimento seeds, just a few, not a whole lot. That's probably like eight of them. And some garlic here. That's minced garlic. Now to that, I'm going to go back and add some black pepper, fish seasoning, browning. And you can make it one if you want to. Garlic and onion powder. I'm going to use the combo seasoning i'm also going to add some accent and that is totally optional vinegar for sure and the paprika i'm going to add some of the ginger powder to it um now in here i have my pot my pot look like it's already hot right so i'm going to go ahead that's not enough oil i'm using extra virgin olive oil but i'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit more to it all right and then i'm 
gonna go in and add the vegetables in. All right, so we're gonna add those in. Just like so. And I just want those to cook for, I'll say about five minutes. Nice, right? But before I move on, what you want to do is season them veggies that up, right? Now season that up. So, we're going to add some black pepper. We're going to add some of that good fish seasoning. And you can have seafood seasoning if you want to, right? And then I'm going to add the garlic powder. And we're going to add some onion powder, right? Okay, just move that around so it doesn't burn. Okay. Then we're going to add some of that good cumber seasoning. Okay, I love it. And you can substitute that out. And you can also substitute this out as well, the accent, right? You can substitute that out. Okay. Now, I'm going to add the paprika. Alright. You don't even know how much I use it. I'm going to eyeball everything. So, we'll add the paprika. So, that's all give it some kind of a color. And then, to that, now that my camera put out of space here, right? I'm going to add some vinegar, and I'm using regular white vinegar. I love to use apple cider vinegar, but I'm going to run out today, so I'm going to use what I have. And then I'm going to add some of this good ginger powder, and I'm using that because I want to. And I'm just going to add just a little bit of that ginger powder to it. And it's a seminar measure, not right. All right, let me find a spoon. Let me, let me, let me put everything I'm going to put thus far. My stove here is at a low to medium heat. Right here. We just want to get those veggies all toasted up nicely. Yeah. I'm going to stove the pan low to medium heat. You feel that already, right? Okie dokie. I'm going to cover that up for about five minutes at the most. Low to medium heat. I make it um it cook. I'm going to cover it. I'm going to get my cover to cover that up. Oh, we don't want those to burn for sure. Five minutes. I'm going to come back, all right? Okay, good. Five minutes later. That is what your veggies is going to look like. Good. Nice and rich and ready and perfect. With your fish wing right over there, so. Now, this is what I always like to do. And like I said, everybody do them things in the kitchen different, right? But this is what I do when I'm cooking brown stew fish. Any kind of fish. Now, in a con container, if you want to make sure that you have the right amount, let's get a measuring cup, right? This is a measuring cup of two for two cups. And that's exactly one cup of water that I have here. Now, into that measuring cup, I like to add about a teaspoon or so. A teaspoon or so, okay, of browning. Any kind of browning of your choice, I'm using the Grace brand here. Then to that, I had the ketchup in. And some people don't like to cook with ketchup, but me love it, okay? Now, you could put the ketchup directly on the fish, if you want. But I like to add it to the water. It does something different, extraordinary to the fish, right? So, all you have to do here is just combine all these three together. Alright, that's, that's it. You don't need to do nothing else. Perfect. Look at the color. You saw the color look nice? That's exactly how I like to have it when I'm cooking brown stew fish. You can't, me, me, you know, you can't mess it up when you do that. Now, we're moving back over here, right? Now, see how perfect that is? Now, your fire here needs to be at a low heat, like almost off. Now you want to go ahead and start adding your fish into the mix, just like so. Just add them in and just put the veggies on top. Just make room for the new, is what I'm trying to say here. And just add them in. This my scotch bonnet pepper and I didn't pop it because I'm afraid of pepper, so I'm going to never pop it, right? Oh, that's something that just burned me a while ago. But we go ahead and just put that fish in to the mix, yeah, just like so. I have one more to go because I did make um five, so we just move some of that out the way and just put that right here. 
in my pot would have stopped spinning. Alright. But anyway, that looks pretty good, right? And just get that veggie on top like so. Yeah. Perfect, I think. Alright, that looks also good. Now the last thing you want to do is go ahead and just pour that goodness all over the fish. All that stuff there, all over the fish. Now this is going to be perfect for some rice and peas. But today we are having, well, husband is having, husband and daughter and a friend is having dumpling and banana and all that thing there. But that is all you need to do. You're going to go ahead and turn the fire back up now to a medium heat because now you want that to simmer, right? Don't worry about if you might have put too much liquid on it. Because remember, you had put flour on the fish before you fry. So that flour that is on that fish, it is going to thicken up the gravy. And it's going to be nice and mellow. Now, another thing you could do to be on the safe side. Let me get one spoon and show you what I talk about. That gravy right here. You just want to go ahead and just drench that fish there. Because you don't want to cook your fish in you know, and, and, and miss a spot, right? So you just go ahead and drench up that fish there with that good sauce, yeah. Okay? Brown still sauce, get it? Yeah. Just get that gravy all up on there. Mm-hmm. Now, of course, you could go ahead and taste it up. Just to make sure that you have the right flavor. Mm -hmm. If it needs anything else, but right now, I'm pretty sure that it's gonna need nothing else. This is going to be husband's dinner today, honey. Okay, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cover this back up and I'm just gonna allow it to simmer nice and medium eat just like that. That's all it takes. And when I come back, I'm gonna show you how it's simmering down mellow. I'm gonna put it on a plate and that should be it. All right, so don't forget to thumbs up the video, all right. See you back in a few. Okay, good it. Microphone check. One, two, three. Microphone check. Honey, look at that. Oh my goodness. Your fish is done. All right. It is all done. Yes, boo. Fast and easy. And on an extreme friendly budget. Mm-hmm. Quick, quick something. In a my Jamaican kitchen. Yes, boo. All right. So we're going to put this on a plate, right? And so you can see how it look like. What it look like. But I'm going to do bananas and dumpling and plantain. Something simple. But you can add this with rice and peas. Red peas, gongo peas, cow peas. Pink peas, sweet peas. Any kind of rice and peas where you want to cook it with Go ahead and do that. But make sure you almost set up this banana plate, alright? See you back. Okay, good is you don't know so much for show you how it look on a plate. Alright, nice and easy. Just kind of slice up some cucumber for go with that. But yeah, that's it right there. All done. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, always from my kitchen to your kitchen, enjoy!